Now that the medical postgraduate examinations are over and the counseling is ongoing, I thought it would be pertinent to share my experiences on how to choose a subject and throw some light on my own subject that is pulmonary medicine. Hi, this is Dr. Balaji Kalimuthu, pulmonologist for the Palmoga YouTube channel. Before going into the actual discussion of how to choose a subject, I just want to touch upon the difference between an Indian PG and PG in other countries. The first and foremost decision which we have to make is whether we are going to give an Indian PG exam like NEET or the other country examinations. This is very important because I know few uh, of my friends who actually do their post graduation in India and then after a few years try to move away with other exams which is a very bad decision to make. If you have to make a decision try to make it as early as possible and then aim towards it because those exams are very costly but the effort when compared to the Indian exams is relatively less. So and always think about your financial stability and other family commitments. Remember the other country postgraduate degrees are accepted in India but Indian PG is not accepted anywhere. Now how to choose a subject of choice? There is MD MS versus DNB. Gone are those days where DNB has been discriminated against MD MS. Now both are equally accepted. If you are getting DNB in a very good institute you just take it. How to choose between medicine versus surgery? Again, it depends on your own interest. If you are good, uh, if you have good hands, if you, you want to do surgical procedures, take surgery. Uh, if you are not confident about putting a knife on a patient, if you are interested in clinical skills, then take medicine. But don't lose your interest because I know a few people who uh, uh, take up surgery because they didn't get medicine. So that should not be the case. Chase your passion and choose your dreams. Remember, this degree is going to be there for your lifetime. Don't get influenced by anyone. Even if your parents are doctors and you have your own setup, never compromise on your subject. Disclaimer, no subject is superior or no subject is inferior. As a pulmonologist, I just want to talk about the scope of pulmonary medicine. Earlier, the degree given was MD tuberculosis and chest diseases. This name itself is very controversial as we don't only deal with tuberculosis. Now the degree given is MD respiratory medicine or MD pulmonary medicine. Till 5 years back, the total number of seats including the private colleges were just mere 400. After the emergence of pandemic, the NMC has increased the number of PG seats in pulmonary medicine to 700. At present, you have 700 seats all over India. But still this number is very less when compared to other specialties like MD general medicine or MS orthopedics or surgery as 2300 to 2500 uh, graduates pass out each and every year from those specialties. So what is the difference between pulmonary medicine in India and other countries? So other countries you have to do internal medicine and after that only pulmonary medicine. It's a super specialty. What is the difference between MD pulmonary medicine and DM pulmonary medicine? DM pulmonary medicine in India is available in very few colleges as a super specialty after general medicine or pediatrics. We will be doing more of interventional procedures in DM course. Whether girls don't prefer pulmonary medicine? It's a myth. In the recent years, more number of girls have taken pulmonary medicine course. Whether it's difficult to study? When compared to other subjects, it's slightly difficult in the sense that you should have a knowledge of both physics and chemistry to learn respiration and gas exchange. Whether there is any risk of infections? It's a huge myth as I know many of the non-pulmonologists who are actually infected with tuberculosis when compared with the pulmonologists. Is it an N-speciality? It can be an N-speciality in itself or you can specialize on something else. Is it financially viable? Definitely yes. I know many of the pulmonologists who actually charge 1000 rupees to 2000 rupees uh, in their clinics, in especially in the metropolitan cities. What after pulmonary medicine? As I have already discussed, you can be a very successful physician only by practicing core pulmonology or you can do a fellowship in interventional pulmonology, sleep medicine or allergy 
but remember these fellowships are available on only very few places and they are not recognized by the nmc you can do a dm in pulmonary medicine or dm in critical care medicine which most of the people do or dm in cardiology or dm in infectious diseases personally i don't uh, feel it will be fruitful in taking a dm in critical care medicine because you won't be feeling anything distinct or different from those uh, anesthetist or any other specialists who actually take critical care medicine or handle critical care thank you for patient listening i hope it helped you a lot all the best